Adobe Photoshop is a great product that can be used in many applications for photo editing, designing, vi even video editing, and 3D. But the thing is, it's so expensive and you can only get it on a plan. You can't actually buy the product whole. But the thing is, is that Adobe Photoshop CS2 is an older Adobe Photoshop, but it still has most of the main features. And I almost guarantee you that for most people who just want to get the simple stuff out of Photoshop, it is more than enough. You can download it for free off of the Adobe website. And the reason being is that Adobe actually doesn't support, um, doesn't support those products anymore. So it provides you the product key right up. And the great thing about this, this works on every Adobe product from CS2. So Premiere, After Effects, Illustrator, even Audition and all of those ones. So on my new computer behind me, I'm going to jump on and show you how you can get it for free. But just know that because they aren't the newest products, it may not run as well on Windows 10. And I've certainly had a crash on me before. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so here on my computer, sorry if the noise it has like this static background. Um, I think it's to do with uh, where it's plugged into the computer at the back. I don't think it's the best quality um, preamp in there, so yep. Uh, if this was on Audacity, I could just edit it out, but when I'm recording a video, I can't do that, so yeah, well, you can still hear my voice, so I guess that's okay. Anyway, so um, for installing, so, sorry, for downloading Adobe Photoshop CS2, um, there was recently an updated link. So, usually if you find videos, the link won't actually work. So, you need to make sure you use the updated link. So, I will provide the link in the description below. But, basically, you want to head to a page called Adobe Other Downloads. Um, or I'll just directly give you the link in the description. Um, and then, if you press CS2 here, anything above CS2, it will say, like, you need a product key to make it work. But, this is... Hang on, this is actually what happens if you click on the um, unupdated link. It just brings you to the home page. So I managed to find the updated link, and here it is right here. But um, it says here, read before you download a CS2 product. Adobe has disabled the activation server for CS2 products, including Acrobat 7, because of a technical issue. These products were released more than seven years ago and do not run on many modern operating systems. Adobe no longer supports them. So basically they're saying, um, we no longer have the servers for this, so we're just giving it out for free. Um, I'm not sure that they want everybody to do this, but if I just hit I accept and go onto the download, look, serial number, it just shows it right there and it's the same on every one. Um, so, um, I've done this a couple times, and there are a few glitches that you can't get around that I've encountered in the past, and that is, if you just, um, if you select create, if you download just the creative su suite, and that's everything, um, it will do disk 1, disk 2, and disk 3, but the disks are in executable files, or EXEs. So, you can't insert the next disk if it's an exe file, so you can only install disk 1. So you're going to have to go around and install every product d down here, or you're going to have to only install the stuff that is on the first disk. If anybody in the comment section has a way of getting around this, then if you can post in the comment section below, not only would that help me, that would help everybody else who's trying to do this. So I've gone ahead and downloaded everything, Basically, it has the Mac and Windows download. Um, it has PDFs to show you how to install it, if you didn't find this video helpful enough. And right here, it just has the serial number. So, if you can copy and paste it from there, but you'll find that... I don't know why it does this. It, it's either a glitch or maybe they did it on purpose. But if you select that and you click off of it, it just automatically collapses like that. So, you're going to have to select it and then right click the same time that you're holding down your left click button. So I've downloaded all of these from the past. So uh, what I'll do here is if I just go onto my downloads folder. So because I only needed Photoshop to go on this computer, 
because um, Premiere, because it's an old one, I think this might, this might be from 2005, that's just a guess, um, because it's an old version of Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro 2.0, um, it actually doesn't support MP4 or anything like that, and I can't be bothered to convert all my files to MP2. It supports uh, WAV, and it supports AVI, but those are the only two modern ones that I know that I've tested. But it also only supports up to 1080i at um, 30 frames per second, or if you're in PAL 25. So, you can't get a high resolution for today's standards as well, which is why I use Shotcut. Anyway, so this is just like any other installation wizard, except it will prompt you to put disk 2 in, and that is when you kind of can't do that. A way you could be able to get around this is to burn it onto a CD or a DVD, but I think that they'll be going, going on to too much effort because what you could do is just download in the individual files. So this will um, give you a temporary file that you can launch the um, the wizard from. So because I probably already have it there, I'll just go there. And once you're in the area that it has finished in, once you've finished installing that, You can just um, you run the installation file or the installation wizard and then it should be finished. But now I'll go into more detail on the certain options that you should select while you're doing it. And then once it's finished um, a correction, this is good, it automatically launches the wizard. So you don't have to go finding all your files in the C drive and all that if you um, lost where it was. So disk 1 includes Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop. Yep, that's all I have installed on this computer. That's all I really need. Because, like I said, Premiere is kind of in no use to me. And the same with Adobe After Effects. So, next. Uh, and yep, just accept the terms. And then enter your serial number that you received. Next. Now, yes, I've already installed it, so after this, uh, you can just hit next, and it'll install it, and it will um, prompt you to quit the installation thing. One annoying thing is, every single time you open it, it will prompt you to register, but of course, because the servers aren't available, you can't register it, so if you just hit do not register, um, or register later, then you can use it like any other program. So, do not register. You'll find that with some of these programs as well, they won't support the Windows 7 error, and that's where like it's transparent in the taskbar. So, oh, yeah, it's still recording. So, um, it will like make it dark like that. See the difference? And basically, in this, I'll just go over what isn't here that you'll probably miss from the later versions. So the first thing is that I end up tr um, using a lot that isn't here is the quick selection tool. Um, there is no dropout folder for this, it's just the magic wand tool. And the magic wand tool can be annoying sometimes because it will only select certain parts and it will be all like kind of jagged. With the quick selection tool you can really get around those areas like that. Now of course 3D won't be in this, um, 3D was only implemented, uh, well, it only got serious around CS6, that was when they added a lot more stuff to it, but I th um, this might be wrong, but I think it was, I think it was CS4 or CS5, but uh, yep, video editing also won't be in here, but like I said, you can, ju you can do a lot of the simple stuff, like I've made, I've made lots of graphics for certain things in here, and um, I've even, I've even edited photos, I can do lots of stuff on this that you wouldn't expect to be on a version this old. Just because it's an old version, well anyway, thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, then remember to drop a like and, uh, share the video, even if it's just telling somebody, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, 
uh, the subscribe button does exist. And I can't believe I'm saying this because this is what I hear on every second video. But if you want to get notified when I upload a video, which you should be because I only up video, upload videos like once a week. Uh, well, a bit more than that lately. But um, hit the bell next to the subscribe button, of course. You've probably been told that 10 million times. But And see you in the next video.